Well, let's get more on this. Let's speak to Laura Tyson from the University of California. She's also a member of President Obama's Council of Jobs and Competitiveness. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, the timing is perfect. This is good news for President Obama coming after what some people describe as a lacklustre TV debate against Mitt Romney. Just talk us through what these figures mean. Well, I want to emphasize the job creation element here. We've created over the last 31 straight sectors, straight months, private sector job growth of 5.2 million jobs. That's in the private sector alone. Those are not public sector jobs. And that record of job growth actually is better than the private sector job growth under George W. Bush entire presidency. So the economy actually is producing jobs and it's producing them at a good pace. The problem is that President Obama inherited, the economy inherited, almost a Great Depression. And it's taken a while to dig out of the hole. But the good news is we continue to make progress. So 31 straight months of job creation, 5.2 million private sector jobs. And this time around, some good news, the public sector is beginning to add jobs. State and local governments, which were slashing their employment for the past three years, their budgets have improved enough now that they can begin to hire back teachers, firefighters, policemen, all very good news. Laura, you say very good news, but Mitt Romney made the point that these unemployment figures have fallen because more people have simply stopped looking for work. And this was the point made about last month's figures as well, that there were many people simply not included in the figures. Does Mitt Romney have a point? So this month actually was also a very good sign. This month, if you look at the fall in the unemployment rate, it was not because people were leaving the labor force. It was because the additional jobs far outpaced the increase in people who were coming back into the labor force. So you have to look at this recovery over time. Month to month, there have been variations. I would say that what's really promising about this month is you have strength in sectors like the public sector, like construction, which until now has really been seeing declining employment levels, and you have a job growth that's exceeding the number of people coming into the labor force. Okay, Laura Tyson, University of California, and also a member of President Obama's Council of Jobs and Competitiveness, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.